This is Chris. There's another tech update. Right now, DJI is releasing their Lightbridge technology. Uh, it's a video downlink and RC uplink for multi rotor aircraft primarily. You could use it on fixed wing, but it does have a little latency. So that may be an issue. But if you're only doing aerial videography or something like that from a plane or mapping, it would be a great uh, asset towards you. Also, anything like a search and rescue. Having an HD downlink would be amazing. The technology that's in it, you could actually see more detail, see what's down there, uh, rather than using the traditional uh, 480 resolution that we use now. That 1080 resolution will give you much more crisp image. You'll be able to see everything down there. So it w it'll hit multiple targets. It looks very promising. Um, they are talking it up a lot. We haven't seen any non-DJI videos of it yet. So I don't know if there's any reviewers that actually have it out there. Um, I've been digging around. I haven't really seen anything. If I did miss something, uh, let me know. I'll put it in the comments. That way other people can see the video. Uh, I'll put DJI's video uh, in the comments here so you can check it out. But its basic rundown is uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second, um, up to a mile away. And they're saying very minimal latency. Uh, I think it's a uh, 80 millisecond latency, um, which isn't too bad. Um, it's would cause problems if you had any sort of faster aircraft or trying to keep up with things. Uh, like if you were trying to film sports or something like that, you may have an issue keeping up with the, the actual focal point. Um, but it's not too bad, especially at the cutting edge of the HD downlinks. So we'll see how that goes. And then it also includes a uplink, so your uh, RC remote can actually plug in, and you can connect dual remotes, so that way you can run a gimbal control and a flight control. Because um, that's how most of the larger rigs run. You have uh, two personnel running it. That way you have one dedicated to the aircraft. So he knows what's going on. He's looking at the area around him so he doesn't run into things. Because if you're on the gimbal, it's really easy to get focused in on what you're shooting and not notice the building next to you or a tree behind you or anything like that where the guy flying the aircraft can watch for those things. So it gives redundancy. That way if one guy sees something, the other one can catch it and get it corrected um, so it does give capability of dual control on that I think they're just doing like a, a PPM multiplexing it's not anything uh, more advanced than that they're basically just taking channels 1 through 6 from the flight remote and channels 7 and 8 and 9 if you have a 3 axis gimbal uh, going to the camera I haven't heard anything if they've given any controls for uh, like shutter control or anything else like that in the links, um, but it may be in there. Not quite sure yet. There's still uh, not too much information out there on it. Uh, there's a few posts on RC groups that I'll link to. So that's the DJI Lightbridge. If you guys uh, have any comments or want to know more about it, I'll keep digging around, see what I can find. And that's it. Check back next week for another tech update.